Vlog number 11. Let's do this. Hey guys, Fabian Pick here. I'm back with a vlog. It's vlog time again. Vlog number 11, I believe. Vlog number 11 is what I, I understand it to be using basic maths. Um, new vlog 11. Might not be. Might not be. Um, but that's uh, that's a wild guess. I've got half an hour spare um, before I go to the gym. Got some new stuff. Thought there's some other things I want to show you as well. Some cool things. So uh, yeah, I thought I would uh, I would record a vlog and stick it up tomorrow. Um, so uh, let's let's do that. Let's do a vlog. 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 Vaping on this in this vlog. The drop dead RDA on the topside jewel topside jewel amongst other things we get there when we get there etc um so yeah let's just go through some stuff oh what was what was the new stuff okay so i'm vaping that uh what juice is in there i have no idea i think it is frankie from handlebar vaping elixir but it could easily be from boza nata which is now back in store uh, just add nick.co.uk. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I've got my juice plugs out of the way there. See how I did that? Is this sl slightly peaking? Let's go down a bit. Why has it gone up to that? Whoa, look at the difference that made. It's incredible. Okay, so <laughs> somewhere in between. Oh, it's still peaking like a... Ugh. Oh, dear. Right, we'll have to go with that then. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so. Uh, let's crack on. New stuff. So I said I would show you some new stuff. And record, I'll go through the old stuff as well. Haven't shown you this yet. Uh, this is the Creek RDA. Creek RDA from Atmisu. This is not new, new, but it's new to me. And so I want to uh, show you. I want to show you. This RDA, very cool RDA. I, it passed me by this one. I did not know much about it, but it's a single coil, single coil RDA. Um, it has full direct -to lung option and full mouth -to lung option. It's got changeable posts to allow you to do that very, very nicely. Um, it's got a very clever way of locking the actual uh, tack top cap to the uh, deck that's really cool as well really nice adjustable airflow options really nice drip tip options very smart very handsome 22 mil single coil squonky rda very clever deck as well actually makes it super simple to build on that is on this mod now this mod came to me i did tease my uh, facebook with a, just a picture of the tin uh, this mod is a tiny 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 squonker um Mark Todd has already reviewed this score on cover. It's the Rave Mini, um, a collaboration of 67 mods and Stimmy Vapor. And yeah, it's the Rave Mini. It's an 18350 Squonker. Look at that. It's tiny, it's tiny. Uh, compared to the Topside Jewel, not a fair comparison, but it just give you an idea how small it is. Uh, it's a small, 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 small Squonker. Really cool. Just getting to grips with that. I can't vape it because I've actually got. A direct to lung build in here just too low for an 18350 battery so i'm gonna build that out when tonight tonight i'm gonna build that out uh, but yeah very cool rave mini and uh, creek rda looking forward to some mouth to lung squonk action and uh, pocket friendly much <laughs> you know what i mean uh, so that's pretty cool that's new that's cool um i've also got some new stuff from innerkin as well this is the plexar kit now it has the Plex tank, which we have seen before from Minikin. Uh, has the Plex tank, but now this Plex tank has 3D Plex coils. 3D Plex coils available for it. Um, so yeah, so they've upgraded the coils. Uh, I think basically they've added more depth to the mesh. So so it's 3D now, rather than like a 2D piece of mesh, it's like 3D. And that's the logic there. We did see 3D coils in their latest um, their latest pod system these were the first 3d mesh coils in here um, so this is like now the cloudy 3d mesh coils uh, so that's a that's an interesting thing 
Um, on a nice little kit, this is a, a removable battery situation, which I always like. Looks like 21700, let's have a look. Oh no, I think it's 2700. <laughs> what have we got? I think it's 2700. <sighs> Nothing like being prepared. Well, 2700 definitely works. The question really is, do 21700 definitely work? One, two, three. The great thing about Nikon is you always know it's going to be one, two, three. Ooh, wow. Um, look like a meatloaf when I have hold my uh, vape cloth. Certainly cloudy enough. One, two, three. I suppose the question really is, does 21 fit in here? Um, I've got a, I've completely, you can't tell that, that anything has changed really, but I have actually completely changed the layout of my office. Um, oh my goodness, 21s for days. Is this dead, dead loud on the mic? Oh no. All right, 21, let's have a go. I don't think 21s do fit. No, they don't. So 2700, 2700 jobby. Happy days though. Pretty, pretty cool. And these are popular, you know, these style, we've talked about this, this style is popular. Uh, it's a popular style of uh, e-cig, isn't it? The uh, It's a po very popular style of e-cig, isn't it? The uh, stick and tank kit. Uh, the vape shops love it. I guess it's so simple to get someone started that wants to change from a piddly little thing to chuck some clouds. That's, you just tell them, press that three times, then press it when you want to suck it. Uh, so, yeah, they do seem to do very well, those stick kits. So that's interesting. Certainly a cloudy tank, but uh, more science is needed. They also sent me this. I'm going to have to... F about with batteries again now. Um, got juice on my pants as well. Um, so this is a new tank as well. This is the I sub B. I sub B. Ignore the mod. The mod is the mod is the Friday morning SX three fifty. That's a brilliant mod. Brilliant mod. Oh, sorry if you can hear the wind as well. By the way, that's. Uh, it's mega windy. Have I done that the right way around? Yes. So this is the ISO B. The ISO B. Now this is a lower wattage. It's a classic ISO style, but now with uh, fancy mesh coils as well. Just got to wait about a week for that to turn on. Um, so yeah, so this is a 30 to 60 watt sort of region. Let's have a look. Let's just go 40 watts. It's a lovely smooth draw. That's all right, that. That is all right. That'll do for me. Um, so more science needed on that one, but that is the I sub B. Did I give you a proper look? The I sub B. Um, it seems like uh, the American reviewers got that one first, um, which is fine. Uh, so there might already be some reviews of that out there. What else is still in the queue? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, got this as well don't know what's happening video wise with this but uh, should, should should get a review this is the uh, Wismic Sinuous V200 now when I do this one I'm going to focus more on the mouth to lung coils because this Amore NSE can do mouth to lung and direct to lung and I covered in the V80 the direct to lung a bit more so I'll focus a bit more on the mouth to lung side of that tank which I think is good um, in that review with the V200, I got slightly, I was a big fan of the uh, V80 that I've just reviewed. If you missed that, check that out. Big fan of this kit, big fan of this kit. I've got some slightly different opinions on the V200 though. So that, uh, yeah, it's definitely going to get a review because uh, 
Yeah, I'm not as into the V200 as the V80, and I will explain why when I do the video. So that's a thing. So is that all the new stuff, City V200? I've got this as well, but I don't know anything about this yet. I haven't really looked at it. It's a little pod. Oh, what's going on now? Isn't it exciting watching someone vapor pod? This is the uh, Renau, Renau Zero. It's a collaboration pod. Um, it's a collaboration pod uh, between uh, Vaporesso and uh, Zero Renau people. Um, so I need to find out a bit more about that. It's got a very sweet, very uh, authentic mouth-to-lung drawer on it. I will give it that, and the flavour's not bad either. So not a bad pod by any means. Don't know if that's going to get a video because it's not insanely spectacular. Um, but I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Um, so there's that. Uh, yes, the the room. I'm I'm trying to upgrade everything in the room. Uh, I'm trying to give myself more options with how I create the reviews and things like that. Um, I've completely sorted out a lot of aspects of this room. Uh, if you're in my Facebook group, which you're welcome to join, link in the description. Uh, I've, I've been showing my desk and I've been tidying everything, getting rid of everything, sorting out, tidying up, all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, so changes are coming. You can't really see anything yet, uh, but when uh, in, a, in maybe another week, the reviews are gonna be upgraded. Uh, in it just it, just in general, just you might not even notice then. But uh, I'm I'm making little incremental improvements. One thing I got was uh, this. Look at this badass thing. This is a, a selfie stick slash tripod with the old uh, Bluetooth remote thing. And uh, yeah, you can put your phone in there. So it's going to give me some phone filming options. There are opportunities and instances where a little bit of phone capture is good. I don't know if anyone saw. Uh, the hyperlapse that uh, I put in the build section of a, of a review recently that was actually filmed on this on the Samsung S8 that hyperlapse um, and it was just like a bit of an additional b-rolly type footage you know additional footage um, on on the piece I think it added to it a little bit but it was resting against the basium <laughs> it was resting against the basium uh, so now I've got a proper a uh, proper tripod thing, and I could. I want to. I want to touch. They do a bit more stuff for the Facebook group, video-wise as well. And uh, this is going to play a part in this. It doubles up as a selfie stick, as well. <laughs> uh, so it's all, all, all good fun. All good fun. Might come in handy. Oh gosh, that's a good workout. Um, it might come in handy at. Uh, an expo as well, you know, a little walk around or something, or just to get some epic selfies uh, at expo, I don't know. I also got this. Now this may or may not make the cut again, sorry if that's loud on the, the old desk. Um, this. <laughs> so what you do is you get a, an item and uh, it spins around. Unfortunately, and Unfortunately, and this wasn't super cheap. There were some super cheap ones. This was a little bit more than cheap. It wasn't. It wasn't. wasn't mega expensive. But it wasn't cheap. Wasn't a cheap one, and it's absolutely crap. <coughs> it's absolutely crap. It, can you hear it wobbling and? Oh, it's crap. It's it's true. After how many times am I going to say crap? Uh, it's not very good anyway. So I don't know if that's going to make the cut. But I wanted to have a really nice sort of visual image of you know the like an atty rotating so you got a nice 3d look at it um but uh yes i don't know if that's gonna happen now so i don't know if that's gonna get used but either way you get my point you get my point um lighting changes in imminent as well um you might have noticed that it's not as well lit on behind as it was before but there is a bit of a bit of color going on here a bit of different color I'm gonna try and uh, nail that down in the next week or so as well um, so that's a thing that's an actual thing um, so yeah so so changes changes for the good editing 
things. I'm trying to find more time for the edit. Uh, right now, a lot of my reviews, I have almost a standard edit that I just do on every review. I'm trying to add some more time so I can get a better edit in. I know that you, a lot. I know that I know that a lot of you don't really care, and you just want to see the thing. You just want to hear my thoughts or whatever. Cool. That's totally cool. It's more for my own sanity than anything. Um, and I like the, the, it. Really does keep you going. The the drive to improve your videos really, really sort of keeps you going. It adds to the hobby of it all, which it is. Um, so that is that. A couple of other bits as well. I need to thing. I need to talk about. Um, I got this. I got this. Well, I got actually I got two. I got two things. I did. If you follow me on Instagram, please do follow me on Instagram if you can. It's at vapingv1ck all in word on Instagram. Uh, follow me if you can because I do try. I do try really hard that Instagram. I don't just chuck up random pictures. Um, I got this. This is uh, little hand woodcrafts. Uh, Mr. Stuart Brown is a UK guy and he's making really cool little things. So this is like a build stand and that is what's going on the spinny thing for the old, uh, pot potentially. <laughs> uh, but this is a, a lovely, lovely sort of like oak-ish uh, build stand thing. It's really, really cool. I'm going to put a link in the description to his thing. He also... Um, so I, I, pay, I paid for this. I, I wanted this. I needed this. So I, I paid for it. Um, but in a very incredibly kind fashion he actually gave me he actually gave me this as well really cool tank stand five tanks again in the same finish same wood uh, lovely felt bottom um i think it's really cool i think it's really cool i really like it uh, so I, I put put an instagram on there um the amazing thing is the prices they're actually it's actually all really affordable stuff you think like uk handmade you know i'm at the time just to get this so beautifully finished you know it must have taken some time but his, his prices are really 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 reasonable uh, so if you're in the need for a stand or whatever check him out check him out um, I'm gonna do a when I finished nailing down this rebuild uh, and tidy of the room I'm gonna do a little uh, studio tour type office tour thing um, just to show you a few how just a sort of a behind the scenesy thing uh, I don't know if I'll just link it as a hidden video on the Facebook group or I don't know how I'll do it yet but I, I, I want to just get I just want to sort of put a little video out showing around and and everything that I do and and why it all happens the way it happens and stuff so that's the plan for that so that's a really cool stand check those out little hand woodcraft uh, I think they're really cool I'm really 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 happy with that um, perfect timing uh, for me to get that so that was really nice um, speaking of plugs, while we're doing our plugs, um, while we're doing our plugs, uh, I need to shout out my good friend James Blythe. Uh, he has a new Facebook group. Oh, caps lock. Let me get this right. Oh, so the peril, a new group called Vaperil, as in vape apparel. Uh, so it's V A double P A R E L Vaperil again. Link in the description uh, to his group. It's a new group, and um, it's gonna. Uh, it's a group where he has he's designing really cool uh, vaping T-shirts and things like that. Uh, and the first design is out. It's a really cool one. It's like a Squonky Kong type thing. It's got like a Nintendo thing. So many vape T-shirts and vape merch. It's just like a logo you know on a bit of polyester and a lot of them are rubbish these are really cool trendy smart funny t-shirts and again really really cheap as well and the way he does it is in like batch listings so uh he'll do a run of 10 of a design and you can get, choose to get on that or not and then the next design will come along and it'll, it'll get those out and it's really cool it's really cool so check that out if you fancy getting a vaping t-shirt that's not just another run of the mill one check that out check out that group uh another another thing i want to shout out again a good friend um it's always nicer to just shout out mates really um which is one of the reasons i'm doing it but also i wouldn't shout out if it wasn't good shit this is good shit uh a new place to get your coils your wire your pre-made wire and all that sort of stuff uh attywire.com attywire.com a-T-T-Y 
wire.com uh, again link in the description and this is uh, my good friend Rick from Modmaker this is his new venture uh, obviously Modmaker still goes on strong but this is uh, a separate thing he's doing loads of wire loads of wire types all the good stuff so if you're in need of some new Claptons or exotic wire or N80 or stainless steel or you've got your, you've run out of 24 gauge cam or something uh, jump on there and get that to get yourself some wire go and do that that's what I would do if I was you uh, so do that so that's that plug just add Nick dot .com the peril link in the description little handwood crafts that is the advertisement section complete <laughs> thanks for sticking with that Although I should say it's not actually an advertisement because no money has changed hands. No money has changed hands. But it's, I feel like this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for to tell you about cool vape stuff for you to check out. Yeah? No? I don't know. <laughs> um, so let's talk about some of the things we just reviewed. Um, so this went up on Sunday. The Vaporesso Lux Nano. I think it's a really cool mod. I think it's a pretty decent sub tank as well, uh, but not a great kit. This the tank is too high wattage for the mod, um, but it's a very dinky, very cool mod. The board is incredible on these Vaporessos now. The Omni Four board, amazing, amazing board. All the things it can do: great screen, great menus, uh, power output, TCT. Oh, it was a fancy, fancy, cool, awesome mod. It's got the uh, heptic feedback thing on it as well. Uh, loads of styles available and that the t and the tank is very clever as well check out the check out that video if you missed it uh, the actual sub tank's got a very clever twist on it um, which uh, I think is a very very smart idea and uh, that's pretty cool uh, there was this one as well this was the uh, TVL Revenant Delta squonk mod it's a pump action squonk mod pump action squonk mod so you, you press this and the juice comes out instead of pressing a squonk bottle pretty cool huh um, it also has a really ingenious way of filling uh, so it's got a little valve down here and literally to fill it you just push that in and squeeze your juice bottle in and that's it you're done no leaks out the bottom nothing really innovative very very exciting a little bit disappointed with uh, the amount of views it got if I'm being honest because it's I'm always more excited it's always exciting when something that's genuinely innovative comes in and I always think those are the reviews they're going to do really well, like in terms of people being interested and watching them. Uh, it didn't actually do that great, that video. So I don't know if the word is not out massively on this mod yet or what, but um, yeah, <laughs> didn't. no one seemed to get hold of that, get into that, which is a shame. Um, but uh, that's the way of it, that's the way of it. The I sub, the I sub B tank review will probably end up getting a triple the views or something. It's just the way of the world, just the way of the world. But uh, do check this video out if you ha if you haven't, because I think it's really innovative. I think it's really cool, and it's very interesting to you know talk about where this can go because it is very much the first implementation of it. Um, so I'd like to see. There's a lot of other advantages over previous pumpers as well. You know the juice goes back down. Um, the uh, tank is like instantly washable and changeable. It's very, very clever the way that is a thing. Uh, the pump mechanism is, you know, mechanical, purely mechanical. It's pressure based, so there's very little to go wrong with it. So it's very clever, very, very clever indeed. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Um, what else? What else do I need? To, oh, what else have I? What else have I reviewed recently? We touched on the V80. Really like this. Um, I think it's a brilliant kit. Um, so do check that out if you missed that. Um, and then there's the Orion Q as well. Still vaping this. Keep forgetting to put it on the charger because there's no routine, is there? When there's no removable batteries, um, keep forgetting to put it on the charger. But it's still, I'm still using it a lot, and it's still going very, very well. Very impressed with the longevity on these coils uh, so far. So far, I'm gonna keep vaping, keep vaping. But I really like this kit. I really like this kit. It's a shame, shame it's not quite as well finished as the uh, Go One. It makes me want the Go One. 
Um, but there we go. That's a cool thing as well. So it's been a fair few reviews to check out. Um, there was a live video as well. There'll be another live video next week as well. Um, <sighs> keep running into technical issues with the live stuff, but um, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. I think we're really close to a smooth, slick live show, um, which is a thing. We've got another new show as well, not live, not live to start with, um, and it's going to be a, a building type video. Uh, I've talked about it in my Facebook group, we've all talked about it on there, uh, and so there'll be the first of those soon as well. Um, build and Chat is going to be called. Oops, sorry if you heard that. Let's pop this down here. Uh, bosh. Um, so yes, uh, so that is a thing. That is a thing that is coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, what else do I need to tell you about? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, well, it's that time again, partly because I've been doing the big clear out and stuff. Um, but it is that time again to see if, hypothetically speaking, you may hypothetically like to have some stuff. If you don't know what I'm on about, I'm, so, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But um, I have a box of vape stuff here um, that... Um, you could hypothetically have if you would like it. it. Uh, so we've got a Vladin pod that was from Vaporesso, uh, the Tesla Falcon, we've got uh, um, a Zenith kit, Zenith kit uh, with some coils as well, with a, a pack of coils as well. Uh, we've got a Preco, a little Preco one, we've got the uh, M Feng, the M Feng. We've got uh, an OBS cube. We've got a DV pod from in um, DV pod from Inikin and some spare pods. I'm just going to throw this all around the room. That'll be good. I've uh, got a Tesla We Two. Tesla We Two. What else we got? Uh, Preco tank. Preco tank. We've got this little puppy. This is a cuboid light from Joytech. We've got a crown V4. We've got what's this one called? A punk. What was this called? Punk 86 or something? Punk 86 regulated tube. Uh, we've got the smock species two. We've got quite mod heavy, isn't it? Uh, we've got what was this one called? Ah. What was this called? I can't remember what this was called. I can't remember what it's called. It's good though. It's a, it's a, 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 let's call it a mod. Uh, a Segeli one. A Segeli one as well. The Sibra E2 mod. Quite mod heavy. Uh, we've got um, from Mod Maker, we've got a refiller, the 120 version. What's in here? Oh, we've got um, a, a BTFC bottom top airflow control. I don't know. It was Fagan's RDA anyway. Fagan's RDA uh, that he made with Org Vape. I'll have to throw some more at. He's in here, I guess. Um, we've got a uh, juice bank from UWell, the refilling bottle thing, and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. So if you would uh, hypothetically like to have that, simply email me. Uh, just put uh, vlog11 as the title of your email. Send it to cd underscore v1ck at hotmail.com and um, put your name and address in the body of the email. And um, I will randomly uh, pick an email and uh, hypothetically send send this stuff to that person potentially okay uh, so uh, that's the thing that's the thing I'll tie the rest of that up later <laughs> right so that's that's that that's that that's the thing what else do we need to cover what's been happening in the vape world is there anything that we need to talk about all right just for fun just for fun just for fun, uh, to round off this vlog, it's just a cheeky little vlog, wasn't it? Cheeky little vlog. Uh, just to round it off, uh, I'm going to vape this. 
Volt Vapes. Volt Vapes Flavor Grape. Now this came in my Vapor Round pack. My uh, my Vapor Round, uh, you know, monthly little delivery box thing. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. Um, I, do, I do a picture of what comes in that box each time. The Vladding Pod in the giveaway came in there as well. But this came in. And what this is, is um, it's it's a juice. It's a juice. It's a grape flavoured e-juice. Um, 3MG, I believe. I think it's 3MG. Um, but it has this thing in it. It's got BVX Tingle Compound. Um, <laughs> so what it's got is it's tingly. It's got a tingly thing to it. I've not tried it. I'm literally cracking it open now. Uh, and I'm going give it to give it a whirl. Tingly juice. What next, right? Um, let's see what this is like. I'll vape it so you don't have to. It's quite grapey. It's quite sour. It's quite a sour. It's like a like a gone off grape. Strange. I, I am dripping on top of. Uh, on top of a thing. It's kind of like a delay on the tingle. My mouth's tingling now. Ah, oh, what is going on here? Why would anyone want this? It's really hard to just, it's sort of like a, it's like a tingly, it's got a slight tingling after tasty sensation. And like, it feels like your mouth's going numb. It's really weird. I don't really get it. <laughs> makes you feel a bit special. No. No, that's that's um that's not for me that one, I don't think. I don't really get that. Tingly juice. Tingly juice. I don't think it's gonna catch on, head candy guys. It's made by the people that make head candy. You know that's sweet for Vapor's tongue. I need a drink. That is weird. That is weird. That is weird. What is the point of that? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I said I'd try it, and I did. Kind of like spices up all your other vapes you have after. Um, yeah, so that's a strange thing. That's a strange thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. So uh, there we go. Uh, so, yeah, email me if you want a, a piece of that action. Um, stay tuned. Lots of stuff coming up. Particularly excited about uh, this little kit here. It's not a kit, but you know what I mean. Um, and some of the cool stuff as well. Uh, so do stay tuned, especially for the build thing and the live thing. Those are coming up. Uh, best way to keep track of all that is join the Facebook group or just stay tuned, you know, press the bell or whatever. Um, all that good stuff. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry it's a bit random. It's a bit... I just had half an hour, so I just chucked this up. I uh, just wanted to catch up with you guys, tell you what's going on and that. Uh, so, a little bit random, but thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your continued support. Uh, and I'll see you on the uh, the next video. Cheers. <laughs>